check this out. Uh, I had to make a video about this because the world needs to know about these really cheap boat stands. They're awesome. Um, I just cranked that up and the boat went up off of this. So now I can loosen that and drop it. Not have to worry about it. I'm going to use the other one too to fix. Now you can see this rail kind of goes up there on that other post and it's kind of pushing in the hole in that area. So we're going to fix those rails too while we're at this. Um, but yeah, this works. And I shortened it. Pretty awesome. Uh, it's not wobbly at all. It sits nice on the uh, on the pavement. If you're doing this on loose dirt or gravel, you're obviously going to want to set like a piece of plywood down. Um, the way that I have this there aren't any holes they like stick out um, normally they go in here in these holes in the tube through there to hold it in place uh, I'm not gonna pull that out because it's under load but if you need to store it if you're not using it just clip it on right there to the piece of angle iron I'm gonna show you guys how I made this um, the other one is ready to be turned into this so like I said uh, these cost $75 normally, $15 off with your 20% discount or Inside Track Club member ship. Um, so if you buy two of these, that pays off one year of Inside Track Club membership. So it's fantastic. So I paid it off once again already. Let's go in the shop over here where I'm making it. Oh, never mind. Hold on a second. Bear with me. The height, because that's important. Um, is, I guess it would help if I turn this around. That's about the height right there. So we'll go with uh, 38 inches because you have to allow for that stuff on the top. So uh, I'm a little over three feet, which is pretty fantastic. You can get nice low boat stands if you're trying to get it off the trailer. I saw a video where people are using boat stands to get their boat off the trailer. It's a long process because you have to get it around all these. You need like six of them. Minimum four just to lift it and then, you know, two more to replace the ones that have to be moved through all the, the frame supports. So yeah, three feet, that's fantastic. And I tried it out. It does fit behind the wheel wells under there at the lowest point. Um, with more than enough clearance to put a 2x4 um, thick piece of wood in there. Here's a piece that comes off from the bottom. There's a piece of a uh, center tube that comes out. There's a tool I used. Those headphones are amazing. Also got them at Harbor Freight. They're noise canceling, automatic noise canceling. So when the grinder goes on, they, uh, they muffle. Otherwise there's a microphone so I can hear everything. It's fantastic. Um, there's a tubey right there. So, I uh, just measured up 19 inches from the bottom. Uh, did it all on the same side, as straight as I could, 19 inches. Put a mark using the grease pencil. Um, did that all the way around. And then, uh, you know, transcribed the mark on the other face. And then I got some, some tape, lined it up between the two, because there's the issue. If you cut it uh, perpendicular, to this line, it's not going to sit flat. So what you want to do is line up this dot on the edge of that corner with that corner as best as possible and cut along this line instead. That way you're going to get the proper uh, angle, if you will. And it didn't work out. You saw that. So this, that's how I did that. A super thin, uh, not thin, super uh, soft metal. Uh, AVE calls it uh, Chinesium. It's definitely made out of Chinesium. These bolts I used, they're 17 millimeter. I used a little air impact. That guy right there and a 17 millimeter wrench to tighten them down real good. I tightened everything down first so that I knew it was going to be in its final shape. And then I did the cutting. Um, for the tube, okay, so we know the spacing here. Oh, jeez, my leg's shaking. 
spacing here is uh, so that some hangs down below where you pin it in into that hole. You want some hanging down there so it's stable. So I was going to cut it right here where the end of it is hanging out the bottom of the tube, but you'll see when I put it in there, um, even if I cut it at the top of this hole for more support, um, it still clears the ground. So how I do that, take the tube, put it in the hole. Well, of course now I got the tape on there, it doesn't really want to go. So you can see here, my original line, I just put it around there. So to get a nice straight line all the way around, all I did was lift up on this tube until I got, you know, to where I wanted to cut it. Held it there while I scribed a line with the grease pencil all the way around, like so. And then I took it off and lined the tape up with it um, because when you're cutting metal, as most of you know, it gets hot. And I didn't want the grease pencil melting off. The tape will stay, uh, at least enough that I can get a straight line. So that's what I did. Once I got that off, you know, laid this on the side over her. Ah, dang it. Uh, cut one side all the way around, and then went back and started cutting the other side. I thought that while I'm was doing this once one side broke free it would like spring open because these aren't exactly the straightest you can see they're kind of bowed from putting them on there um yeah so i thought they were gonna like spring open and like hit me in the face or something but they didn't and this kind of stops them a little bit uh yeah so there's that and then this guy was super easy just put the grinder down and roll it. Fantastic. So, those things were $75, like I said, for these stands. This metal left over, it's not garbage. I have a welder. Um, if I didn't have a welder, I have a drill and fasteners. I can make something out of this. Um, if I was to buy this, this metal at Lowe's, um, these three pieces would probably come in in one piece, that would probably be about $20, give or take with tax. And this piece here, that's uh, 25, no, that's probably more like $35 for that one, for how long it would be. Because each one of those are 18 inches, so foot and a half. Uh, yeah, so more than $25 for that. The longer the piece, the uh, more expensive it is usually. And then I got this tube, and I don't know how much that tube is. And I haven't seen anything like that in Lowe's. You probably have to go to Tractor Supply and pay out the ass for it. But yeah, I got all that, and I'm gonna have that times two. So that's like half the cost almost of the stand. Crazy. I don't know how they're doing this. I don't know how they're able to, you know, financially support building these things. Um, uh, the welds definitely aren't great, so they're not using certified welders. But I'll show you those things. I was pretty, pretty proud about my own welding when I looked at these welds. Uh, not the not the straightest and neatest. All kinds of spatter everywhere. Just a fucking chicken poop job. Yep. So that's done. I just need to do this one. Then I'm gonna get back to uh, working on my boat. I'm gonna be fixing up that one side. So for this, uh, to make these into the shorter boat stands, grease pencil or something else that'll mark on this powder coated finish, uh, tape measure, grinder, safety glasses, they're on my, on my face. And those uh, ear, ear thingies to help protect your ears. I've been noticing my ears are actually kind of going so that's no good uh yeah that's it that's it for this video hope you guys found this informative i hope you have an outstanding day don't forget to like share and subscribe i'm out